Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at a game played by Julius Perlis and Jack Misses. The game was played in 1907 in Ostend, which is a Belgian coastal city. Julius Perlis started with e4, d5 by Jack Misses, Scandinavian defense, e takes d5, queen takes d5, knight c3, queen a5, d4, knight f6, bishop d3, knight c6, bishop d2, e5, and a dubious move by white, knight b5. A better move is bishop b5, and right now black can't capture on d4 because there is this knight d5 fantastic move, and it turns out that black is losing his queen. Let's go back. Instead, we see knight b5 by white, queen b6, queen e2, a6, knight c3, bishop g4, f3, Knight takes d4, queen takes e5 check, bishop e6, knight e2, knight takes e2, queen takes e2, we see castling by both sides, bishop d6, bishop c4, rook e8, bishop takes e6, rook takes e6, queen c4, queen f2, queen f1, queen c5, g3, bishop e5, at queen g2. White was making very passive moves and now white will face a lot of problems. Look at this attacking black pieces. Now comes rook b6 eyeing on b2 square. Bishop e1 and now comes queen e3 check. Bishop d2. Well if king b1 then black can go for this beautiful rook sacrifice. If king takes b2 then simply Rook takes d1. White can't capture on d1 because this knight is pinned. Let's go back. After queen e3 check, we see bishop d2. And now comes a very beautiful combination by Jack Misses. Can you find his next moves? Ready? He played bishop takes c3, sacrificing the queen. White accepted the sacrifice. And now bishop b2 check. King b1, bishop d4 check. King c1, bishop takes e3, rook d2, bishop takes d2 check, queen takes d2. Well, if king d1, then white can even get checkmate hit after bishop f4 check. If king e2, then rook d2 check, followed by rook b1 checkmate. Instead, we see queen takes d2 in the game, but after rook b1 check, king takes b1, rook takes d2, white resigned because Blake is a uh, piece up. Your comments and questions, please, and thanks for watching. Good luck.